Hi guys, I have a haul video to film and I hope that I have enough memory on my camera right now. If not, I'm going to have to shut it off and switch it. But um, I have some stuff that I've just been collecting. So the first one is this new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. It has kind of like a frosted tube. I really like the tube actually. Um, and this is what's on my lips now. This stuff smells amazing. It smells like strawberry cake or something. Like, it definitely reminds me of, like, Bonnie Bell scents, and, um, it's a really pretty, just, it doesn't dry down completely matte, like, it's not kiss-proof or anything, but it does last for hours, because it's kind of shiny, and then once you eat and stuff, the shine wears down. Um, this is the color... Devotion. So it's just a matte pink color. Really pretty. I wanted like a fall shade. They had some bright ones too. Whoa, I'm going blurry. Um, making sure it's not on my teeth. Then we have... Um, this is one of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I have a bunch of these already, but um, I got Dirty Money. I don't know what possessed me to get this color, but it was really unique and pretty. So it is the color of money, that's the best way to describe it. It's a really matte, almost olive green right there. And I've never seen another shade like that, so I had to get that. He's coming out with some new ones, I think, in a couple weeks or so. Um, then Hard Candy has some new stuff. So I picked up, they have two new highlighting duos. Um, this one is Twinkle Star, and it's the more glittery one. And then this is candle lit, and it's more of, this one reminds me of like the hourglass powders, where it's just more of like a sheen, uh, you could use it as a finishing powder all over if you wanted. So, the Twinkle Star is definitely more glittery. It has a champagne shade and a golden shade. They're not incredibly pigmented. So the golden shade is on top, and then the champagne shade is right there. Gold and the champagne, as you can see, those are kind of glittery. And then, to be honest, I like the non-glittery one better. Um, this is the candle, yeah, candle lit one. So there's just two shimmery shades in here. Not even, I wouldn't call these shimmery, they're just, they give a nice glow. So there's this one that has kind of a pink sheen to it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. And then this one has, it's just like a, I don't know, <laughs> it's just a sheen. So you're not even going to be able to see these that well. Probably not. But I'm going to have a review on the blog so you can see better pictures. Um, and then they have these new Argon Oil lipsticks. This is the color Prowler. I love the packaging on them. These are only five bucks. They're black, they have bling on them, and this is honestly darker than I thought it was going to be, but it smells like cherries, which is cool, and kind of reminds me almost of Dark Room from Milk Cosmetics, only this isn't matte. It's very creamy and super pigmented and feels really moisturizing on your lips. And then I grabbed some stuff from the Disney Villains collection. I got the Ursula stuff because this is as close as I'm ever going to get to an Ursula makeup collection, I think. Um, this is the Le Leviathan Shimmering Powder, which is just like an all-over shimmer. And it's like a MAC pigment with Ursula on it. And it has a little flip top, which is cool, because it keeps the product from all spilling out. And, whoa, I just poured out way too much. It smells like, like vanilla. And it's kind of glittery. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. Oh yeah, I put way too much on my hand, but that's what that looks like. I'm going to, like pixie dust. Oh god, it's all over me now. <laughs> Steven's laughing at me. Um, and then I got the Ursula lipstick. Of course. Again, lipstick tube with Ursula on it. Oh, I like inhaled that stuff and it tastes sweet. The lipstick itself is just a red 
and I just screwed up opening it. You can see it there. I think it's a matte. Oh yeah, it's a nice matte red right there. That's nice. I haven't even taken pictures of these for the blog yet, so I shouldn't be swatching them yet. And then I got the Ursula palette, which the sticker is like coming off and I haven't even opened this, so let's check it out. I'm going to have full reviews of everything on the blog anyway. Oh man. Oh, okay. So I guess this is just the little cover for the mirror and then the palette itself has it on the front. So that is just adorable. I don't even care if these colors work good or not. They have Ursula on the front. Oh, they're actually nicely pigmented. <coughs> Those are the first three shades. There's like a shimmery white, a seafoam green, and then a bright blue. I am pleasantly surprised with these. I don't know if you're going to be able to see over here. And then I'll do, it's like a glittery teal, a lavender shade. These are all really soft. And then a shimmery purple. You see those three colors. That purple is awesome. These are really pretty. I'm surprised. This is only like a $5 palette and it works. It's uh, more pigmented than that gem palette. And then there's a light silver and like a gunmetal color to the last two. So very Ursula colors in general. Those are the last two over here. Sorry for the crappy swatches. Um, and the last thing I got I'm really disappointed with this order because I ordered from Bloomingdale's. Um, I had ordered from the Matte Holiday Collection one of the eyeshadows, and I ordered two of the O oh Darling Shimmering Skin Perfectors. This was all that came, and they haven't answered my email back yet, so I, I'm guessing I'm not getting them because they sold out everywhere. Um, but I got the color Moon is Blue which is a really pretty, this is the, it's technically called a color drenched pigment, so not an eyeshadow. It's a really pretty glittery navy blue. So I like this color, but I don't like the fact that I didn't get what I ordered. <laughs> so I have to get that straightened out. Um, and that is everything, so I tried to get through that before my camera died here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you in my next video.